Thank you for stopping by Ballistic Barbecue. On this video, I'm going to be making homemade liquid smoke. Let's get going. All right, here I am interrupting my own video. This is definitely a first for me. Some of you guys are wondering why am I watching this video again? I didn't it already post. I did post this already, but as you'll see soon, I used um, ABS material as part of the construction for this uh, distiller. And a couple questions popped up. Is ABS safe you know, to be used with foods? Is it food safe? And I'll be honest with you, I, I didn't have an answer. I didn't research it, which that's my bad. I really should have, and it's actually very unlike me. So I shut down the video and I did some research and there's enough debate about it to where in good conscience, I couldn't leave it up the way it was. So made some modifications and I found this material here. This is CPVC and it is used to carry potable water to homes. So this is food safe. And I went with CPVC as opposed to PVC because this also withstands heat a lot better than PVC. Now a neighbor of mine gave this to me, he's a plumber. This is Schedule 80. This is a really heavy duty stuff. You don't have to get this heavy duty of a CPVC. Um, and also I want to explain this video, I'm kind of showing how this works in theory and technique, but you don't have to make this same type of contraption. Use your imagination. Just make sure that it is, you know, food safe, but it works. And I used this already and I made, actually ended up with just under a cup of liquid smoke. And before I continue on with the old video here, I also want to uh, respond to a comment. Someone had said, why go through all this trouble? All you have to do is put a bowl of water in the smoker and smoke the water. Um, the way, the technique you're going to see here is more consistent with the way they do it commercially. And um, just out of curiosity, when I used the CV PVC to make some liquid smoke, I also smoked a bowl of water and there was a definite difference. And I ended up with, there was like a film on the, on the water that was smoked. So it wasn't very good. The product you'll end up with this is very good. Um, the other comment was, why would you want to do this? This stuff only costs a couple bucks a bottle. True, but there are some countries where liquid smoke is not available. That was my main motivator for doing this video. But also if you go to the stores, you'll see that nine out of 10 times it's going to be hickory. So one of the benefits of doing things ourselves at our homes is we can get creative. So you don't have to stick with hickory. You can use almond wood, cherry, whatever flavors you dig on. Anyway, let's get on with the video. All right, this video is inspired by an old episode of Good Eats with Alton Brown. Alton made a condenser with a chiminea, some galvanized tubing, and a lot of foil to basically make his own liquid smoke. So what I've done is I've taken those principles that he applied and I've kind of refined them and I'm taking advantage of the construction of my Primo Oval XL, but any Kamado would work perfect with this. In fact, you could probably apply this to any smoker that has a chimney. I'm actually thinking about trying this on um, one of my pellet cookers. So let's get along with the manufacturing of the condenser. Okay, I have here five inch length of two inch ABS, a five inch length of three inch ABS and a reducer. This is three inches down to two, obviously. Glued these together. Now the cool thing is I removed the stack from the top of the chimney here or the uh, cooker and it almost fits perfectly. But the reducer here, the little lip that is created keeps it from going all the way through. So what I'm going to do uh, when I'm actually running this thing, when I'm making the liquid smoke, I'll wrap a little bit of foil around the three inch tubing and it, it'll hold it in here tight as a drum and it'll also be very airtight. All right, now for the next step. Alton Brown used a bunt cake pan, which is basically like this. This is an angel food cake pan, except it has little fancy kind of scalloping going around it. But really he's using it for the same reason as I selected this angel food cake pan. We have a, a cone in here with a hole going right through. So the smoke's going to come up through the hole hit my collector and then there's condensation will form and the pan will actually collect liquid smoke. So it sits on top, apply some pressure here and the friction actually makes it pretty darn stable. If you don't care about having an angel food cake pan or a bunt cake pan, use some maybe some epoxy and glue it in here. 
Next step is going to be the collector, which is going to be a stainless steel bowl. You want it to be a little smaller in diameter than the diameter of the cake pan. So I'm using these wooden sticks simply because I had wooden sticks lying around. Go across the cake pan here. This is going to keep the bowl elevated above. And there we go. There is our distiller. So the smoke's going to come up through the stack, hit the lid, condensation's going to form, and then the liquid smoke will drip into the cake pan. Now to help kind of induce the condensation, what Alton did was he took a bag of ice and had it over the bowl. I thought I would take it a step up and just to make it easier on myself so I don't have to worry about the bag falling off as it melts, I have another stainless steel bowl and that'll be on top here filled with ice. All right, let's get going with making the liquid smoke. All right, I have the Primo burning right now and I have hickory wood going. Let's go on to the next step of actually making this liquid smoke. All right, so as you can see, I've got the deflector plates in and I'm doing that just simply because I know this cooker and I think I'll have a lot more control with the temperature with the deflector plates in. Next step, I have here an aluminum roasting pan filled with ice. I want to pump as much humidity in this cooker as I can, and I also want to keep the temperatures down. We're basically doing a cold smoke. Now we're going to put in my condenser. Again, with that foil in here, it's got a really nice tight seal. Put that angel food cake pan on. Cinch it down here. There you go. The collector. Bam. Last but not least, that stainless steel bowl filled with ice. Again, it's going to help keep this cold so the condensation forms on the inside of the lid. All I have to do now is just keep my eye on it, make sure the temperature stays down in the pit, make sure I have ice in the bowl, and hopefully we'll end up with a big old batch of liquid smoke. See you in a bit. All right, it's been about two hours and 40 minutes probably notice a few little changes I've made here and I made these changes literally minutes after I turned off the cameras from the opening of this video. I replaced these wide wooden sticks with pretty heavy duty bamboo skewers. They're heavy enough to support the bowls but um, they're not obstructing some of the moisture that's coming down. I was thinking these these things are just really going to take a lot of the water that I want going into the pan here and it's working great. Um, the other thing I did was, and this is just sort of out of paranoia, I took the bump pan off and I wrapped a little painter's tape around the top of this two inch pipe coming up just because I was afraid that, you know, it was going to fall off. And, and there's enough tension in there now to where it's very, very stable. You can probably hopefully see some of the dripping going on here, but it's got a decent amount of very concentrated, smoky liquid smoke. So I'm pretty happy about this. And it's been easy. I haven't been babysitting this like I would, you know, a, a, a cook. I've went out and ran a few errands and everything and it's just chugging along. The temperature I've been maintaining has been between 175 and 200 degrees, running rock stable. Um, very little opening down there at the lower damper. Of course, um, this is my control on the upper damper. So the only option I really have is to control that lower damper. But it's uh, chugging along and I'm just going to let it go. Um, I mean, if I wasn't doing a video, I'd probably just let it go until I was ready to go to bed. <laughs> See how much uh, liquid smoke I have. Um, this is the second bowl of ice that I've changed. It's really not that hot here today, so it's been lasting a long time. And even that water up there was pretty darn cold. But anyway, when you see me again, we will have liquid smoke ready to put in a jar. See you in a bit. All right, so we've been at this for three hours, about 20 minutes or so. This is the decision I've made. I'm going to go ahead and pull this off, let you see how much of a yield I have right now, close the video out, and then I'm gonna put it back on and let it just keep rocking until it's my bedtime basically, and then I'll pull it off. Um, it's a, you know, we're making a concentrate here, so the yield is not going to be like a cup or so, but there's a decent amount in here, so I'm kind of curious to see how much I have. So anyway, let's first let's remove the ice bath here. Remove the lid. Get 
And let's get this off. Take it over to my measuring cup. So we ended up with more than a third of a cup. I'm pretty excited about that. That's pretty darn cool. It's more than I expected. Let me give this a try. I mean, I already know what it's gonna taste like, but you gotta do a taste test when you're doing a video. Yeah, tastes smoky. Doesn't taste good, it tastes smoky. This again is a concentrate. Uh, the application will be in sauces and such, and you just use a small amount. A little goes a long way. So a third of a cup of this is going to last a long time. I'm gonna again, start sucking more of the moisture out of this pit here because I still as you can see I've got a nice little stream of smoke going anyway um, so you know the motivation I received a request to do a burger and it's uh, basically being served in Europe Middle East um, Australia and the sauce that it has has liquid smoke in it so I thought I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a liquid smoke video because I know there's some countries where you can't get this stuff. So now you know. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Keep the requests coming in. Thumbs up, subs, all that stuff that everybody talks about at the end of their videos. <laughs> Cheers.